Grace and peace to you. This is yours truly, Bishop Bowser, coming at you. I was talking with someone the other day, and um, we were talking about prison, and you know, being you know former gang member and coming up in the streets. You know, one of the things is is that a lot of times people wouldn't even consider you legit, right, from the streets, gang, and all that, if you haven't been to prison. And I was sharing this with him, and. He shared with me, this is a younger brother, you know, he shared with me, he said, you know, when I first arrived to prison, I thought I had arrived, right? Now that's, that's amazing. That's the mindset of a lot of people, right? And you hear older dudes, people my age, a little younger, getting into arguments and when they want to devalue or disqualify the other person, they're like, man, you know, you've been to prison. And like if prison makes you into a man. And that's what I want to talk about today. Is that I see a lot of guys, especially doing a lot of time. Some don't do a lot of time as far as, you know, 30, 25 years, 30 years and so on. But, you know, they're in and out. Five years, 10 years, 10 years here, three years there, whatever. But been in prison, I spent more time in prison than he's been on the streets. And I find that a lot of these guys, really, they don't realize it, but prison has emasculated them. And they get out, and most of the time I find a lot of them are being like under the thumb, under the rule, and under the power of a woman, right? Now the Bible says that a man is ahead of the woman, right? That means he has the authority, he's the leader, right? Not a bully, not a... Um, dictator but someone who is a leader you know that will lead his his wife lead his, his children lead his home right in love compassion but with a firm hand because he's a man of decisions and i think one of the things that prison does is it emasculate men to, and they don't even know it a lot of times when they get out and so a lot of times, you know, you have women that are supporting them while they're in prison, supporting them and helping them to get out of prison, and they're to help them when they are out of prison, right? And a lot of times, I find these men, like, really falling under the authority of the woman rather than the woman falling under the authority of the man. And that's not being a man. Um, so prison don't make men men just, just because you can pull a trigger and shoot somebody or kill somebody or just because you can knock somebody out don't make you a man um, so I think before a man is able to be a good husband be a good father be a good businessman entrepreneur or employee or employer he has to first learn how to be a man, a successful man, a good man, to be anything else in society. When God made Adam, he was a perfect man. Then he gave him a wife. Then he gave him, you know, the creation and to rule and dominate uh, the world. So my thought is, is that a lot of guys that, not all, but a lot of them that go to prison, they get out, they are emasculated, to get out as what they call beta males. Um, they're subservient. They worship the woman. And the woman rules them, boss them around, tell them what to do. Some of them actually become simps. And um, a lot of them depend on the women, right? And that's why they got to do that. So the best thing for that is to stay out of prison. And if you get out of prison, you need to take a class on manhood 101. I just made that up, but you really do you need to take some type of training or get under the wing of people like myself that can teach you how to be a man. Because you can't do nothing else in society successfully as a man until you become a man. All right, God bless you.